All right, we're just about ready to go out to the field. I thought I'd show you a few things. I made a box here for the two peanuts, and I also put uh, a coat of polyurethane on it to help seal it a little bit. And I just use simple cardboard holders to keep the planes in place. I mean, this will hold them more than snug, so I'm ready to go out to the field. Uh, a couple things I'll be bringing is a little bit of modeling clay in case I have to balance the plane. I made up some rubber motors here. And you can see I put twist in the rubber motors. This way it doesn't hang slack in the plane. Now to put the rubber motor in, I have an insertion stick. You could just make it if you want. This is one I just bought. And uh, it actually has two pieces. It screws into this handle, but I don't need it for the peanut. So you can adjust where the end goes. You could just put the motor on like this. And you can see from the head, it's ready to take the uh, aluminum holding pin. So you just insert this into the plane, hook it in the back, and then you take it off. And uh, I also use hooks on my motor. So this is like a crocket hook. I'm gonna use this to uh, hold the rubber and you see it has some extra holes that I could use to uh, pull it with. Okay, now blast tubes are essential if you're a rubber modeler. You really don't wanna blow up your plane. This is a PVC. This goes fine into the Nesmith. I needed a smaller one for the Zero. This is just a straw. Uh, you'll also see I notched them in the back so what you do is you slip these in and they go over the pole in the back that holds them in place. And the way you do that is I made a little hook here with a handle, as you can see. All right, and you just slip it in basically like that. Then you hook on the rubber. Okay, you pull, you put the tube in the plane. And when you want to take it out, you just reverse that. I also have some uh, lubes. You got to lubricate the rubber. So I'm an old timer. We used to, used to just use glycerin and green soap. You got to boil the alcohol off the green soap. I'm kind of anxious to try these silicon lubes. They look pretty neat. Now I could do a whole segment here just on winders, but uh, here's one. This is a 16 to one indoor, but I haven't had good luck with these on uh, eighth inch rubber. They tend to break after a while. Here's a little better one on 15 to one. This is KP. You can get all these online. Go to freeflight.org. It's a little sturdier and it's nice it has a 15 to one ratio because I want to put about a thousand turns in. But really the one I'm going to probably end up using is this. This is a gizmo geezer. Has a couple nice features. It's five to one so you got to wind a little bit more. But it does have a counter here that I can reset. And the other part that's nice is it has a torque meter, so I can read the torque of the rubber. That tells me something. I did some test winds, and at a torque of about two, the motor tends to break, which is about 1,200 winds. So it's nice to have the torque meter. You gotta stretch the rubber way out while you're winding it and walk in slowly. And if you pay attention to the torque, you can figure out whether or not it's gonna break. All right, so I'll see you out in the field. Pretty much ready to fly.